When we talk about dragging and dropping files from the browser into the arrange window, traditionally there is one type of workflow. So for example, if I wanted to drag over these three music loops into the arrange window, this is going to create a track for each of these. So I could just map it out to wherever I want, let go, and this is now going to create a track. And this is going to be stacked from top to bottom according to the order of how things are sorted here. So that's the traditional workflow. But what about if you wanted to drag things over and you actually wanted them, this wouldn't really be the case for music loops, but you actually wanted them to be all on one track and you didn't necessarily want to create three separate tracks. So let's take a look at a workflow that we can use to do this. It's actually very simple. It is one keyboard modifier key that we can adjust and hold. So let's take a look at, let me go to my files tab over here. Let's say that you wanted to drag in some samples. Maybe these are raw samples that were recorded and you need to tidy them up, adjust the gain or adjust the fades or anything. If I drag and drop these like this, they're all going to come in and they're going to be put in on their own track. Now, maybe that's not the case. Maybe I don't want them all on their own track for whatever reason. If you hold down the command modifier key or control on a PC, we can change the timeline drop order from vertical stack to horizontal, right? So this can be really, really useful. I'm gonna let go and now notice that all of these files have been dropped in, but they've been dropped in on the exact same track. So what are the use cases for this? Well, I use it all the time. If I'm editing, let's say sound bites or something like that, or in the case where I'm working with samples and I want them all to be on the same track, this is something that we can do. Now let's take a look at another use case. I'm going to go over, for example, to some MIDI files that I have. These are music loops, so it's not really that fair, but let's say that I drag over the first one and this automatically loads uh, a music loop, which is automatically loading a virtual instrument sound. So if I open up my mixer, we have this file. Now let's say I'm in a writing session and I've dragged over a bunch of chord progressions and I come up with a really cool sound, but I wanna addition some different ones. Now these ones over here, I don't want them to all show up on a different track. So what do I do? I'm gonna drag and drop to bar five with my snapping on, and then just hold down the command key on a Mac, control on a PC, let go, and now all of these files have been dragged over to a, the same track, and they're just butted up against each other continuously. Anyways, super quick tip, but something that I figured maybe some of you will find useful. That's it for this video, and I will catch you in the next one. Cheers.